three, two, one. Engine ignition and liftoff of the Falcon Heavy rocket. NASA and the United States Department of Defense have returned the X-37B back to space on December 28th, 2023. This is its seventh mission, and this time around, it promises to be more intriguing than its previous missions. It is a secretive project, as very little details about the mission were released to the press. It was launched on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket for the second time, after its five years earlier usage. SpaceX, involved in the X-37B mission, is owned by Elon Musk. No doubt, Elon Musk was excited about his collaboration with this project. In this video, we will tell you about NASA's most extreme X-37B and its potential for conducting research towards future Mars and Moon missions. The X-37B is an orbital test vehicle, a reusable robotic spacecraft. It is a scaled-down version of the earlier X-40 made by Boeing. There have been seven missions, including this recent launch in 2023. Four of these missions actually went to space. Each mission is known by a code, OTV-1 or OTV-2, and so on. The first mission, OTV-1, was launched in April 2010 on an Atlas V rocket and lasted for 224 days. It landed at Vadenberg Air Force Base in California on the 3rd of December 2010. Then came OTV-2, which stayed up longer from the 5th of March 2011 to June 2012, which is a total of 468 days. It was also launched aboard an Atlas Firth. OTV-3 used the same spacecraft from OTV-1 and stayed up from December 2012 to October 2014, making a total of 674 days. The fourth mission, which began on May 20th, 2015 lasted until March 2017. A new record was set as it stayed in space for 718 days. Like the earlier missions, the OTV-4 launched aboard an Atlas Firth. Then, on September 7, 2017, came the fifth mission, which was a big deal. This is because it was launched using SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. It was the first time it was launched using a Falcon 9 rocket. This mission lasted 780 days and carried an experiment to test new electronics in the space environment. OTV-6 launched aboard an Atlas Faisu launch vehicle with a mission duration of 980 days. The X-37B launch in 2023 was delayed by over two weeks due to technical problems. As officials put it, bad weather and other issues caused earlier attempts to be cancelled, so the spacecraft had to be taken back to its hangar before conditions got better. It was eventually launched via a SpaceX Falcon Heavy, which took off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on December 28, 2023. A mission dedicated to America Strong. Good. The SpaceX Falcon Heavy produces more thrust than Space Falcon 9 and Atlas V rockets combined, which had been used in earlier missions. This recent launch and the missions before this have been uncrewed. This launch happened shortly after China launched its own robot space plane called Shenlong, or Divine Dragon. No doubt this move adds a little bit of intrigue to the US versus China space race. Between all its seven missions, the X-37B has managed to spend over 10 years in space since 2010. Its last flight, which was the longest, lasted two and a half years before it landed at Kennedy Space Center in November 2022. Earlier flights were confined to low Earth orbits at altitudes less than 2,000 kilometers. However, the Pentagon didn't say how high the X-37B will go this time, but they mentioned it would test new orbital regimes. So if it's crewless, then what's its payload actually? Apparently, the X-37B spacecraft isn't just flying empty. It's also carrying with it an experiment from NASA. The in-house scientists are testing for how plant seeds handle being exposed to space radiation. This is important because if we can grow plants in space, it means we can feed astronauts when they're on long trips. Otherwise, we'd have to carry big stashes of food that occupy vital space. This knowledge could help us start planning for future missions to the Moon or Mars. It also relays solar energy from space back to the Earth for usage. Now, about China's Shenlong spacecraft. It was launched on December 14, 2023, using a Long March 2F rocket. This rocket isn't as powerful as SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. It's mainly used for sending things into low Earth orbit, not farther out like the X-37B. General Brigadier Chance Saltzman from the Space Force talked to reporters recently. 
He said that he expected that China would launch Shenlong around the same time as the X-37B. In his words, these are two of the most watched objects on orbit while they are on orbit. It is probably no coincidence that they are trying to match us in timing and sequence of this. As for how long the X-37B will be in space this time around, NASA hasn't said. However, from speculations, it might stay up there until June 2026 or even longer. As alluded to, each mission seems to be lasting longer than the one before it. Hmm, a mini size shuttle. What about that? The X-37B spacecraft made by Boeing looks a bit like NASA's old space shuttles. It's way smaller, being one-fourth the size of the old space shuttle. It's about 8.8 .8 meters long, 2.9 meters tall, and has a wingspan of nearly 4.6 meters. At launch, it weighs around 4,990 kilograms. The cool thing about the X-37B is that it doesn't need any astronauts inside. It can land all on its own thanks to its clever landing system. It launches vertically like a rocket. However, it lands horizontally like a plane when it comes back to Earth. Its main mission was designed to orbit the Earth somewhere between 150 miles and 500 miles above the surface. Needless to say, there are lots of cool things about the X-37B. For one, it's got fancy avionics that can control how it lands all by itself. Instead of using hydraulic systems, it uses electromechanical ones for its flight controls and brakes. It is built with lighter than normal materials, which helps it maneuver more efficiently. Also, it is covered in special insulation blankets and tiles. This protects it from the heat when it comes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Even though it's small, the X-37B is packed with the best of both aircraft and spacecraft technology. And here's the best part. It's pretty easy to reuse and maintain. What are the main goals of the X-37B? If you get to see it up close, the X-37B spacecraft is really fascinating. It might look like a spy drone at first, but it's much more than that. People might even mistake it for a grown-up nerd toy. But don't be fooled, it's packed with serious scientific gear inside. It's just like how the Mars rover showed us that unmanned vehicles can do important work. The X-37B is a proof that autonomous machines can be pretty impressive. So, what exactly is the point of this spacecraft? Well, it's called an orbital test vehicle. It was made by Boeing, and it's like a mix between a satellite and a toy spaceship. It gets launched into space by a rocket, like the ones from SpaceX, and then it comes back to Earth like a plane, gliding through the atmosphere. This spacecraft is all about testing out new technologies that we can use in space, and it's been in development for quite some time. Originally, it was a NASA project back in 1999, but then it got passed over to the United States Department of Defense in 2004. Then, Boeing got an exclusive contract with NASA to work on it. The X-37B has two main goals. First, it is to test out technology that we can use in future space missions. And second, it carries experiments that can be brought back to Earth and studied further. X-37B powered by the sun, just like the space shuttle was. The generation of power is linked to a solar array made up of gallium arsenide solar cells with lithium ion batteries and thrusters for deorbiting and orbit maneuvering. It has been through a lot of testing and missions over the years. Its first drop test flight was way back in 2006. Then in 2010, it went on its first orbital mission, riding on top of an Atlas V rocket. It came back to Earth later that year. Since then, its missions have been getting longer and more ambitious. For example, the fifth mission lasted a whopping 780 days in orbit. Mission 6 spent 908 days. It has been launched on different rockets, like the Falcon 9 and the Atlas V. Now here's a little more background information. Back in 1999, NASA started the X-37 program with big intentions. Initially, they wanted to make two vehicles. One would be for testing how to approach and land, called the Approach and Landing Test Vehicle, or ALTV. The other one was for orbiting around in space. They asked Boeing Integrated Defense Systems to help design and build both vehicles. But in 2004, NASA moved the project to the United States military, particularly to DARPA. Once DARPA took over, the project became super secret. They finished testing the ALTV part of the program in 2006. Meanwhile, NASA's idea for the orbital vehicle didn't happen. However, 
It did give Boeing's Phantom Works the inspiration to create the new X-37B space plane. The X-37B activities in space have drawn so much attention in the space world as enthusiasts seek to know about its whereabouts and share their thoughts about it. The secrecy associated with many of the X-37B missions sparks so many speculations and theories about the true objectives and capabilities of the project. Despite the secrecy, it shows a significant improvement in space exploration and even technological developments, leading the way for more future advances in spaceflight. Yet after all is said and done, people can't help but be suspicious. Could the X-37B spacecraft be turned into a US space weapon? Some worry it might be used to attack targets on Earth or destroy satellites in space. This concern is especially strong in China, where there's a history of tension with the United States. Russia in its own right is already aware of these concerns. There are questions about whether all this space explorations are really worth it. Is it just a playground for Western science? Or does it hold more important possibilities? Are you one of them? Feel free to leave your concerns in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic content. See you in the next video.